Hello, Cozy Gamers, and welcome back to another episode of Lake. We are doing a Tuesday morning, and we just confronted Frank. I mean, not really confronted, but we talked to him. Good morning, P.O. P.O. Positive or That's key. Will it be a... Oops. Okay, let's just go around this way, and then come back up and do that. P or a double P? Walter Morgan has the answer. Every now and then, I spend some time in Providence Oaks. I'm always happy to see this beautiful and orderly village and its well-mannered inhabitants. Did someone just call me well-mannered? <laughs> oh, I'll take it. Let's see if the weather will behave today. A bit of sun to start the day, but mostly overcast heading into the evening. Back to the music. <laughs> okay, I mean, w Walter Morgan seems a little kind of uptight, but whatever. Anyways, so... We didn't really confront Frank, but we were honest with him and said, look, this Walter Morgan guy came and was asking a whole bunch of questions and saying this and this and that to me and asking about you. So just so you know, and Frank's like, yeah, whatever. I'm not in trouble. They're in trouble. And I'm like, okay, you know what? You know what, man? It's not my business. Really, it's not my business. And then Robert came over to ask about us and then let us know that he's looking for us. So we'll see what, what's going on. Oh, shoot. That one more might leave a, a dent. <laughs> His truck's not here. Where is he? That's weird. Oh, talk to Robert in the forest. Okay. I'm like, I was like, oh, <laughs> where is he? I don't know. I think he's literally like in the forest. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> this isn't strangely creepy at all. Hello? Oh, there he is. Hey, Meredith, I'm up here. Hey, Robert. Wow, that's up high. Is it cold up there? Wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. Maybe you should come down. Should I come up as well? <laughs> should I come up as well? Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> Maybe I should come down first. We, we just got to be funny, don't we? Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Loud and clear. Over. Loud and clear. Over. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up sudden. Awesome. I'd love to try that sometime. Yikes. I'm glad that there's people like you for that. <laughs> Yikes. I'm glad there's people like you for that. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways. I figure it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Oh, okay. So what now? Oh, really? Here? What a shame. Oh, here? Really? Ugh, what a shame. Fear not. I have masterminded a wild card plan. Let's hear it. Tell me all about it. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. To do a tree version of We Are the World? Um, right, and then? Um... Right, and then? Well, we'll start jamming. Some music producer accidentally drives by, offers us a contract on the spot. Next stop, rich and famous. Uh, let's do it. When and where is it? I have a feeling you're not being serious right now. I have a feeling you're not being serious right now. Yeah, you got me there. It'll actually be a radio message to get the people in Providence Oaks involved. That's a good idea. This afternoon at Jack Reynolds' barn. A professional sound studio, huh? Okay, I'm in. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> Great. Meet me there after work. I gotta get back up in this tree now. See you later. Bye. Good luck up there. and Bye. Be careful. Bye. Be careful up there. Thanks. Yeah, I... Uh, how do I get back to the road? There's my truck. All right. Well, that's exciting. We're gonna do a radio message. Cool. Cool. Well, so now thinking about it, the apartments might be a good thing for the city. I mean, it would suck to lose that like land and you know, the quiet and you're gonna get more traffic and whatever, whatever. But if you're speaking business and economically wise, it would be really good because then you'd have more people living in the town and I missed my stop. And then Angie would have more business booming because people would want to rent more movies or maybe she should start doing like streaming. That might be beneficial for her. Maybe we can get together with her, create some type of computer software that lets her to do that. I don't, I don't know if that's too, that's too uh, ahead of the times perhaps. 
I don't know. We're going to have to see how this whole thing, literally the whole thing, plans out. Whoa, a little rugged. Huh. Looks abandoned, but okay. Was this the other... This was the abandoned, like, cabin thingy that I... Oh, excuse me, I wasn't done looking. Huh. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> Does anybody live the doors open? The the door the doors open. It looks like nobody lives here. What? All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. That's There you go. That's weird. That's so weird. That is so weird. I don't I don't I don't know how I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know how I feel Oh that's all that's all suspicious. I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just calling it as it is. It just looks suspicious. Windows boarded up, door slightly ajar. I peer through the window slightly and there's nothing in there. I don't know. But hey, none of my business. None of my business. Like I said, here at the Pops Providence Oaks Postal Service, we got you covered. We won't ask questions. You use our mail for wrappings of some sort? Won't question it. Want us to deliver some VHS tapes for your dying business? Won't question it. Doing some illegal sports betting? No, won't question it. Here at the Pops, we got you. Ooh, we got a package at the diner, which means potentially blueberry pie. Blueberry pie. Potentially, but probably not. Still waiting for my blueberry pie, man. Ooh, that's lighter than I thought. Long package. Maureen K. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Oh, shoot. Um, this is a problem. How, how do I... Oh, okay. Here we go. I got it. <laughs> Hi, Kay. Package for you. Uh, might as well give it to you now instead of at home. Okay. I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. Uh, what is it? It's nothing illegal, right? I'm so confused. Why would we drop a package off at to Kay at her work instead of at home if it's not for the diner why would she need it right now um, and why are we questioning it? it oh my god i'm so excited about this Yay! i see this is a guessing game all right is it a a new rocket a box of bunnies a bunch of copies of the et game Ooh, a rocket a new rocket no, but that would totally make Grace's day, though. I should be able to craft something like that out of the cardboard packaging. Good idea. Okay. Uh, the suspense is killing me. Open it. You don't have to tell me I know if it's a mean if it's illegal. The suspense is killing me. Open it! Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer! Ooh. Oh, man, I am super stoked this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently, he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. No, I love that. I love that. I know you're doing that speeding up thing again. No kidding. I love that. I, I know, love that. You're doing that speeding up thing again. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. Uh, stop. You're doing it again. You should totally try out programming. Uh, I mean, she if might. If you like sampling machines, you should totally try out programming. Oh, man. I would love to. So much to do, so little time. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Blueberry pie, blueberry pie, blueberry pie. A pie, I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. Of course, pie. pie. I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. <laughs> oh, I just sold the last slice. No. We're clean out. Anything else? Uh. I owe you? I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. <laughs> I love her so much. 
I, I'm really starting to believe we're never gonna get this blueberry pie. I'm really believing it in my heart. I'm believing it in my heart. We're never gonna get it. It just seems like it, it just happens happens to run out. I don't, I don't know how it happens to be that way very coincidentally. I believe it's this house here. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just gonna park in your driveway, <laughs> deliver the mail, and back up. We still have those pictures to develop. We haven't been taking a lot of them. I keep forgetting. A little package. Oh, you don't have a driveway. Walkway. That's fine. I mean, everybody's doing the construction at their own pace. <laughs> I know you're home. Your car is in the driveway, so you just don't want to answer the door. Introvert. <laughs> Which is fine, because I would not either. Especially if the postal worker was a yapper. <laughs> like, little Meredith here. Love her. But you don't have to stick around and, and, and uh, listen to everybody. Open their mail and... You know, talk about the mail. You can just, you don't have to do that. I think we're gonna visit Angie. All right, let's do it. 251 East Main Street. Got you. Cool pants. Oh, hey you. Hi. Oh, that's nice. So I'm guessing you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. Angie, we need to talk. Actually, that's not what I'm here for. What do you mean we need to talk? Those four words are very... Very intense. Hmm, okay. Angie, what do we need to talk about? We need to talk. Ooh, that sounds ominous. So, what's on your mind, babe? Um, well, I like you, but I think we should just be friends. I think I'm starting to like you a lot. Oh my god, there's more options. Like I said, I really want to, like, go down the Robert path. But I just feel so bad. So bad. I feel so bad. I feel so bad, but like I'd love to be friends. I think oh I'm no, I accidentally like clicked it. <laughs> a lot, and I'd like to ask you to be a little less awesome. It's distracting me. <laughs> no can do, Miss Weiss. Being awesome is my thing. Would you ask Rocky to stop boxing? <laughs> Touche. So anyway, what's on your mind? I literally, I literally accidentally clicked it. Oh my god, is this gonna ruin chances with Robert? I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to play it out as it is. Maybe, maybe my just, maybe, maybe we, maybe we're meant to be with Angie. I don't know, because it's just a slip. My hand just literally slipped. <laughs> a rare moment of quiet contemplation. You look a little distracted, taking stock of the store or of your life. It's a rare moment of quiet Seems contemplation. I you in a rare moment of quiet contemplation. <sighs> yeah. I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? Yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. You feel that way about Providence Oaks? Yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. It's just that... This whole Flick Shack adventure... I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. And in the wrong place? Wow, is business that bad? I mean, it really sounds like it is. Wow, is business that bad? Yeah. And here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, I am. Oh, wow. Wow. I, I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. Huh, you're welcome. Well, there it is. Literally. Oh, there it is. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? Uh, about your future, I mean? I don't know. I'm not sure if we have, honestly. Me? No, not yet. Well, take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. I hear ya. I'll swing by later. Man, that sucks. Can you imagine like you have a business and you built it and you're so passionate about whatever it is and like nobody else nobody else cares that much or it's just not not right and it just sucks. Well, I don't know what option I picked did anything, so I guess we're just gonna have to see. I feel like this house 
constantly gets mail. And like other people just do not get mail. <laughs> I don't know, may I mean, maybe there's a possibility that everybody gets like bills electronically. Could, could be, could be, I don't know. Just because it's a small old town that seems like they're not even interested in VHS movies. Does it mean that they're not interested in getting emails? Well, maybe emails don't exist. I think it's 1980. Didn't emails exist in 1980? I don't think so. Hey Siri, did emails exist in 1980? 1971, holy moly. They did have email back then, wow. Okay, so then everybody must be getting all their mail electronically if they are not receiving actual physical mail, which would explain why not everybody gets physical mail. All right, let's call it a day. And then I think we're gonna meet Robert with the farmer to do like a little like podcast or something. I don't know, like a message for everybody to be like, yo, stop this apartment building. We don't want no stanky apartment. Here we are at the farm. Okay, folks, it's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. You'll do great. This better be worth it. <laughs> That's mean. You'll do great. Okay, Robert, take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? Yeah, I guess this is okay. Mm, fellow Providence Oakians, really. I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Literally, yes, passion. The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Um, okay, you might be right. Jack, one more recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, two, three, action. Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. <laughs> Better? Um, it, it, literally, it literally sounded the same. Not gonna lie. Not gonna Actually, lie. No. Could you also try Attention Providence Oaks and Lake Lovers, listen up. So just the first words. Yeah, Robert, if you could hurry up a bit. Potatoes don't come out of the ground voluntarily. Speed it up, One, speed it up. Two, three, action. <clears throat> Attention, Providence Oaks. Lake Lovers, listen up. Like that? A star is born. Now let's do some real work. All right, this should work. No way, it's not quite there yet. Mm -mm. You know what? Let's make it perfect. No, wait. It's not quite there yet. Well, I don't give a who. Robert, you said this would only take a minute. You're right, Jack. Sorry, Meredith. <laughs> this will have to do. Oh, fine, fine. No problem. This should be good enough. Well, it's your precious lake. Don't say like that. That's rude. No problem. This should be good enough. <laughs> All right. It's time to really roll up our sleeves. You ready, Robert? Sure thing, Jack. Meredith, I'm going to return the favor and help Jack out today. If you love birds wanting to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. <laughs> Jack, what the? I better get going. Good luck with those taters. Nothing wrong with a bit of hard work outside. Let's go. Sure, uh, I'll leave the love word squabbling over to you. No, 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 no. Let's help. I mean, it literally takes like five minutes out of your days and you're complaining about potatoes, but... Nothing wrong with a bit of hard work outdoors. Let's go. Rock on. Let's do this. Okay, folks. Hop on my tractor. It's time for the real show. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's only Tuesday afternoon. We got we got a lot accomplished. Meredith, it's me. Oh, hi, Steve. I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you didn't? I'll look at them tonight. I was just very busy. I'm sorry. I'll look at them tonight. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, short call. Gotta rush. Corporate lawyer appointment. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. You speak soon. Re review Steve's contract. Yeah, we're gonna have to review. Yeah, that's uh, we're gonna have to do that. I wonder if we just don't do it. I think we'd be in trouble. All right. Here we go again. All right. 
Workaholic helps Steve out both times. Well, that's cool. A cool little Good achievement. Morning, oh. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I need to inform you that your colleague <gasps> Frank Coleman has been suspended. Why? Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. Okay, sir. Have a nice day. All right, but where's Frank now? Okay, so do the envelopes go to you now? Uh, ooh, what does that mean? All right, but where is Frank now? Frank is not here. Right, okay, bye. I am a bit worried about him. Where is he? But I'm a little worried about him. Where is he if he's not here? Somewhere else. Have a nice day, Miss Weiss. You can't just do that. You can't do that to Frank. Maybe he can't. I don't know. I don't know. All right. You know what it is. A new day means a new episode next time. So I hope you are enjoying it. I mean, if you've made it this far, then you must be enjoying it so far. Things are getting... I've been saying things are getting spicy, but it seems like there's a lot happening. I mean, Robert is doing his announcement, which may come this morning as soon as we jump into the truck. Frank got suspended and he's somewhere else. It's very suspicious because if you get suspended, usually you just stay home. But if he, they took him somewhere else, that's a little weird. Angie is packing up and leaving, I guess. So that's a little sad. We're just sitting here getting wet. So I better wrap it up soon. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode so we can figure out what is going on. See you later, cozy gamers.